Hello everyone, it's End Times Talk, and boy, do I have an amazing video to share with you today. God is connecting some dots here. I truly believe this. It says in Revelation chapter 13, verse 13, and it's talking about the false prophet here. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. All right, now, how is the false prophet going to be able to call fire down from heaven? It's, I don't believe it's going to be a tornado of fire or a tunnel of fire or a fireball. I'll tell you what I think it is. And, and, and something that came across my mind was the movie Fire in the Sky that was released in 1993 about the story of Travis Walton's uh, abduction by aliens. Okay, how are you going to explain away the mass disappearance of millions and millions of people across the planet of, of Christians, okay, without being able to prove to mankind that's left on the earth that aliens took them? All right, I have a buddy who's ex Illuminati turned Christian. All right, he's passed away now, but I've said this in other videos and I'll say it again. All right, because it's 100% factual that, that he said this to me. He said that imagine uh, well, really well crafted CGI images flash across your television set. Okay, that motherships are approaching Earth, that you're going to see radar and uh, footage uh, of motherships approaching Earth. They're not really there, but they're computer generated images. All right, and then all these UFOs that they've been housing on military bases with, with uh, demons, all right, are going to take off from these military bases, go up into the clouds, and they're going to come back down slowly and land in capitals all over the world. All right, he said what they're going to do is they're going to come out and they're going to tell mankind that they took the Christians for re-education up in their motherships, that they beamed them up, okay? A fire in the sky coming down and picking people up. You see what I'm saying? All right, now think about this for a second. All right, then th they're going to tell the uh, uh, the world that, that we were holding the world back in the age of Pisces, okay? All right, and that they want to usher the world into the age of Aquarius, the golden age of enlightenment, what the occultists teach, all right, and then they're going to tell mankind, and they're going to play on their pride, and they're going to say, you, mankind, are the truly enlightened ones. All right, we're going to help you go to the next level. All right, but see, the whole world's still going to wonder, well, how did, they, how did they get taken so quickly? We didn't see nothing. We didn't see nothing. We just heard some thunder. Because we all know when trumpets blow and when God calls people, all right, the Christians or the men of, women of God hear the voice of God, but the rest of the world just hears claps of thunder. And we know this from... Uh, uh, Moses on top of Mount Sinai and all that stuff. The people down below just heard thunder. But the false prophet is going to be able to call these tractor beams down from heaven from these supposed uh, uh, UFO ships, all right? And it's going to look like fire coming down from the sky. I truly believe this is what this scripture is talking about. I truly believe that my friend was 100% right, that, that, that they're going to try to use aliens, uh, the, the, the excuse that aliens took the Christians off the face of the planet, but we very well know that the pre-tribulation rapture is real. Uh, we know that Jesus is coming for his people. He's coming for his bride. He's coming for a spotless bride that's been active in the Christian faith, that's been a repentant bride, that's been giving up their sin, crucifying their flesh daily. I mean, th I really truly believe at any moment we could be taken. And they have the ability to explain it away now. So I want to warn everybody to get ready for Jesus' first coming because he's going to come the first time in the clouds and the second time he will touch down on the Mount of Olives. And I want to be able to tell you guys, I really truly believe in my spirit that this scripture pertaining to the false prophet calling fire down from heaven truly is talking about how he will communicate with aliens to, to cause those beams to come back down to show people, see, see, they were taken by aliens. No, no, we weren't. We're going to be taken by Jesus Christ, our groom. We're going to be taken by Jesus Christ, our groom. And anybody who's not in the rapture, in the pre-tribulation rapture, remember this video. Mark it down because you better know, you best know that they're going to try to explain it away uh, using uh, CERN and, and, and aliens and all this stuff and the opening of dimensions and all this stuff. It's a bunch of hogwash. God's in control. Jesus is in control and the Holy Spirit's in control. Buckle up, people. We're about to go flying and we're about to go for a ride up into the heavens. May God bless you. And may God keep you.